welcome to another video. I'm in La Paz at the foot of the Agatha Christie steps. Let's go and have a look. Yeah, these steps were erected uh, in commemoration of uh, Agatha Christie's visit to Puerto de la Cruz. She came here in 1927. She wrote 66 novels in her lifetime, but thank God there aren't 66 steps. <laughs> The final few steps represent the shadow of a detective. So I'm going to make my way up to Mirador La Paz, show the views down to Puerto itself. You'll find some lovely property up in uh, this part of Puerto, and that's one of them. It's one of my favourites, actually. That got some great views of Tady. Unfortunately, not today. It's a bit cloudy. In fact, I think it's been cloudy all over the island, actually. So here we are, just coming to Mirador. La Paz and there you can see Hotel Gran Tayoro that's the one that's been uh, refurbished and brought back to its former five star glory This building here is the Martianes shopping centre and those steps, Agatha Christie, you can get down to Puerto from them. And there's the beach at Martianes and at Lago Martianes at the back of it. See the surfers are still out. This walkway is called Paseo de la Costa. Let's go down it. You get some little bars along here that you can uh, sit at and just look down at the views over Puerto. It's uh, 20 to 6 and the temperature is about 23, 24 degrees. Not bad, eh? <laughs> so I'm now going to take you down a little uh, street here that's been named after Agatha Christie. Calle Agatha Christie. Can you see the cypress trees either side? This was be its previous name was called uh, Calle Los Cipresses. 
and there's a little story attached to the white house at the top of the road which I'll explain shortly lovely building eh some people are under the misconception that Agatha Christie used to live here and uh, she didn't um, she actually uh, only came here to stop and she stopped at the Hotel Grand Tioro but while she was here she saw this house you've got to imagine there were no other buildings around here and uh, she drew some inspiration from this house and that uh, Calle Los Cipresses so if we look down the road So she wrote a passage called A Man from the Sea uh, in the book, uh, The Mysterious Mr. Quinn. And uh, she drew that inspiration for that passage from this house and that street that, that used to be a, a sort of gravel street that wound down to the beach at Martianes. The house itself was owned by an Irishman. And if you can see at the top there, it's in Latin. It means, here I rest. There's uh, quite a lot of uh, Irish history around uh, Puerto. A lot of the Irish came over here that had got some money invested in it and married some Canarians. And uh, that's why you've got a lot of street <laughs> names with Irish names in them. Here we have views of the north coast. And that is looking north up towards, uh, well, Santa Cruz, but it's on the other side. Shortly coming into view will be two hotels. The first one with the curved facade is the Atlantic Mirage. And the one just behind is the best Semiramis. Here is the uh, main road out of the road tunnel that will take you up to the north motorway. And there's a seawater pool. So this public walkway will take you across the back of the Atlantic Mirage and uh, up towards the best Semiramis and onwards. Um, but it stretches right the way back to Mirador, La Paz. And as I say, if most people walk this way, up towards Mirador, La Paz, down the Agatha Christie steps and then down the stairs and you're in town. Not good if you've been for a drink and you've got to come all the way back, but taxis are very cheap here. Right, I think I'll take you into the Atlantic Mirage and show you from the rooftop. Got a few stairs to climb first and here we are, Atlantic Mirage. Let's go in. Mm -hmm. 